The World Gold Council data shows that the UK holds 310.3 tonnes of gold. In 1999, Gordon Brown made the controversial decision to sell more than half of the UK's gold reserves, around 400 tonnes, for $3.5 billion. That's the equivalent of around $6.6 .6 billion, 5.2 billion pounds, in today's money. The price of gold soared in the years that followed the sell-off. There were plenty of people warning against the move at the time, including at the Bank of England. The Bank of England reports that its gold vaults now hold around 406,650 bars of gold, worth more than £390 billion. That makes the Bank of England the second largest keeper of gold in the world. The New York Federal Reserve comes top. The bank stores the UK's gold reserves on behalf of HM Treasury and on behalf of other central banks and certain commercial firms. However, there are many more vaults than just this one in the UK. According to LBMA, London Bullion Market Association. As at end March 2025, the amount of gold held in all London vaults was 8,488 tonnes, valued at an eye-popping $850.1 billion, which equates to approximately 679,068 gold bars. In the past you could exchange banknotes for the equivalent value in gold at the Bank of England, but this has not been possible since the early 1930s. You can hold a real gold bar in the Bank of England Museum. There are two on display, 